Uh, hello, uh, today I'm going to explain the uh, margin to hosting with DigitalOcean and uh, Santos Web Panel. Um, as we know today, uh, it's very expensive to choose um, a hosting for margin to two uh, because it requires uh, many uh, things like varnish, like Nginx and Apache and um, maybe you have to use Redis in order to, to deal with the cache. So today I'm going to explain how to install um, uh, CW Pro Panel or Santos Sweep Panel with Santos 7. Um, first, I'm going to show you here in the beginning, as you see, this is the, the website for the, the panel. It's free, but there is another one premium with $1 amount. Uh, if you can offer that, it's good. So I'm going to use one, this one, uh, CW Pro Panel Control Panel, and this is how it looks. If you see here, this is how it looks, and this is what we are going to, to have after our installation. First, I'm going to use uh, DigitalOcean in order to, um, to choose uh, our hosting. Uh, as you know, it's cheap. Um, here I'm just going to click on uh, droplets. You can sign up with DigitalOcean. They give you like uh, at first up to one hundred dollars to try. Then you can pay monthly um, when whenever you use the the, ho the hosting. Okay, uh, we need Santos, so I'm going to choose the latest one, which is seven point five. I'm going to use standard. Uh, I will start with 4 gig and 80 gig for CSD disk, uh, 4 terabytes. So I'm just going to use any backup for now. Uh, I will choose uh, which one here. I will choose Toronto. Private network, I need that. Monitoring. And this is this very, very important step is this one here. So. This one, if you want to send emails with this hosting, you have to specify the host name from here. Or later, when you finish installing and you add your own website, you can use the host name directly here. You can come here and update host name. So uh, now I will use this one. Then later I will change it. Create. It will take one, two, or three minutes to install the server, and you will receive an email to your. Um, to your uh, inbox uh, with the information with the, the root uh, password in order to control the server and start and start installing um, uh, the server of course i received the email let me go and check my inbox okay so i have here my password i'm going to change the password same same so i'm going here to go to the droplets Okay, I click on access. I will ask here in order to install the. Okay, so here we go. The username is always root at the beginning. And the password that you receive. Repeat the password. And you have to set up a new password. and re repeat the new password. Okay, that is for the password. We have changed the password and now we will start installing um, the server. As I said from the beginning, this is how it's going to be. So we have Magento to hosting with DigitalOcean and, and CWP Pro panel. So we choose the server configurations and now we're going to install the Santos 7. We did install Santos 7 on the, on the server. So next tip, number three, is install the Santos control panel on the server. Okay, so now I'm going to, to the website here. When you ask the website, you will find the link in the description. So I click here, installation. Then I'm going to the next step. This is the requirement that you need. Next step, 
I have to prepare the server. So paste. Next step is to update the server. Click enter. It will take some time to update the server. Uh, then at the end we have to reboot uh, our device. Uh, then we will have uh, to configure the server with Santos OE panel. As you see here, we have different steps until the step 299. So I will pause the video for a while till it finishes. Then I will come back. So here we go. Uh, it's done. So we have now we have to reboot the, the server. So we write down reboot. And that's it. It will take some time in, uh, to the server reboots, then we will go to, to the next step. So here we go, so we have to log in again. Okay, so here, next step, actually, we have to install the Santos panel right now. So there are two steps if you are using Santos 6 or 7. In this case, we have Santos 7, the latest one. So we have to do the following steps. Copy and paste. Next step is the this one here so now is the lightest step and after this we will have to reboot our server again so we have just to finish here, then uh, it finishes the installation of the CW panel. So it will take one minute or less, so we'll come back as soon as it finishes. So here we go, it's done. So we have now to uh, click enter in order to reboot the, the server. We have to wait sometimes everything is okay now it's done what we have to do now is to after it's um it's done restarting we have to go to the server directly and use the the roots or the admin with the password we specified before so let's wait a little bit I have an alternate issue here, so be patient with me. Okay, so here we go. So next step is to activate Varnish and JX. Normally after the IP address you have to use 20 and 30, I guess. Yeah, that's correct. So. So I'm going to use the root password that I specified during the installation. Then, okay, there is a problem here. Eric, I guess. Oh. Okay, this is the admin area. It's root. Sorry for that. Maybe it's but this. It is the password. So I am in. Okay, so this 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 is the panel that you see here directly. Okay, so 
this is normal panel but you can go for the pro we can uh, uh, explain this this later as we see here this is the information for the server and this is the apache but now we have to use to configure the the, the varnish and apache and the ngx at the same time so i go here with web services and uh, select web servers we have here different ones so you have the right to choose anyone for me because i'm using magento or wordpress or whatever whatever uh, I, I like to use ngx plus varnish plus apache so i select this one then i will start save and build rebuild configurations it will take a few minutes uh, one two or three minutes or five then it will uh, install the uh, the the varnish and just and activate everything for you so you can use the varnish with margin to two and in the, in the meantime while waiting here i would like to explain to you later how to activate the santos panel pro one uh, because they have it here it's free as they are saying but you can go for the pro you can go and sign up for the uh, the pro one you just have to pay one uh dollar amount of every month so in order to benefit from security and other uh features so let's go back here it's done so now as you will see here if we go back if we refresh a little bit let me go to the bash, dashboard and come back here we have so let's click again here so yeah we have ngx varnish and apache activated automatically here and you can select anyone you want from here but first let me check something here okay so anyhow you, now we can go you have to install php this one version first in order to benefit from apache and this one also but let me just explain to you this step here what is a cw pro you have to pay one dollar or one dollar 49 amount or 11 dollars a year it's worth and you have many features here like security like updates and there are many things that you can benefit so guys that's it we will explain uh, later how to install margin to directly um, now we have just to this is an easy way to have your own server um, you don't need to go to, an, to in, in the other company you see you are going to pay for the package I choose with digital ocean I choose the $20 you can choose $5 amount it's better for you if you would like that and you can install this uh, the Santos web panel directly it's free and you benefit from the varnish and other things it's easy to use it thank you guys if you like the video please share and subscribe and uh, of course if you have any comments you will be there to answer any questions thank you very much